Chapter 52 of The Seventh Most Important Thing by Shelley Pearsall. Officer Billy was the one who called Arthur to tell him the news about Hapton's masterpiece. It was right before the Fourth of July holiday weekend. Roger was over for dinner, as usual. Arthur had been cutting lawns all day to earn money for the August garage rent, so he was wiped out. He didn't even move to answer the phone when it rang. His mom jumped up to get it. Holding her hand over the receiver, she told Arthur the call was for him. It's Officer Billy, she whispered loudly. Tell her you'll call her back later because we're eating supper now. The casserole will get cold. Arthur ignored his mom and the casserole. He hadn't heard from Officer Billy in weeks, and she was calling before a holiday weekend. He knew it had to be something important. He took the phone. It's Arthur Owens, he said, trying not to sound nervous. Mr. Owens, I have some news I think you'll be pleased to hear. Right then, all Arthur could hear was his heart, which sounded like it was about to fly out of his chest. The National Collection of Fine Arts here in Washington has decided they would like to acquire Mr. Hampton's work. What? Arthur asked, not quite sure what she meant. Acquire? The museum would like to have to keep the work of art. What? Arthur said again, feeling dizzy. He'd been to the National Art Museum only once, on a school field trip in elementary school. All he could remember was the huge gold picture frames and the marble steps. It had been like a palace. He couldn't believe Hampton's collection of foil-covered art would be in a place like that. They're going to put Mr. Hampton's work in the museum downtown for everybody to see, Arthur repeated slowly. There was a long pause before Officer Billy said, Well, no, not right now. Arthur was confused. What do you mean, not right now? For the moment, the museum is acquiring it for their storage collection. Storage? They'll put it away until they have a place for it someday. Oh. Arthur pictured all of the beautiful pieces being packed away in gar cardboard boxes in a musty attic somewhere, like their Christmas tree. How long will it be there, in storage, he managed to ask, trying not to sound as disappointed as he was. There was a loud, exasperated sigh from Officer Billy. I don't know, but I thought you'd be happy to hear that Mr. Hampton's work is going to one of the top museums in the country. But stop! Are you happy the project is saved or not, Mr. Owens? Arthur could tell Officer Billy probably had her traffic cop hand up. I guess I'm happy, he mumbled. And actually, he was glad Mr. Hampton's work was going somewhere so he wouldn't have to lie awake nights worrying about it any longer and mowing lawns to pay the rent. He only wished it was going to a place where people could see it. He didn't think Mr. Hampton would want heaven packed up and left in storage. He hoped he hadn't let him down. Nothing in this world is perfect, right? Officer Billy said more patiently. Right, Arthur agreed. He managed to resist adding, except the number seven. Well, that's all the information I have right now. When I hear more, I'll let you know. Thanks, Arthur did his best to sound grateful. He didn't want another lecture. You're welcome, she said. Have a good evening. Arthur turned back to the table to see everyone staring at him. The casserole was untouched. Nobody had moved. What was that all about? Arthur's mom asked. Arthur took a deep breath and forced himself to smile. It was Officer Billy calling to tell me that Mr. Hampton's masterpiece is going to a museum. <laughs>